As hundreds of Ontario post-secondary students plan to rally across the province this morning, protests are planned today to draw attention to what they say are out-of-control tuition fees. Now, Uncle Carney joining us now with uh, what we can expect about these rallies. And I, I don't think they start this morning. I think the, the press conferences are this morning and then the rallies are set for, I think, around rush hour, which will be really nice for all the... Yes, yeah, absolutely. In fact, uh, they're billing it as the National Day of Action. It's organized by the Canadian Federation of Students here in Toronto. In fact, they're expecting as many as 3,000 students at Queen's Park around 3 p.m., as you mentioned, very close to rush hour. And uh, what they're doing here is these are rallies that are going to be held at uh, campuses across the province and across the country. It's organized by the Federation of Students, and they want to put pressure on government to do something about tuition fees. There is no question tuition fees have been rising. And here in Ontario, in fact, uh, Ontario boasts the highest tuition fees for undergraduate programs in the country, according to Stats Can. The average cost of tuition pegged at $6,600 in Ontario. Alex? Yeah, and here in Ontario, the province provides billions uh, to help fund universities and colleges. So, how much is the provincial funding covering? I mean, I think their gripe is that. Dalton McGinty made a campaign promise and apparently he didn't keep it. How they could be surprised by this is beyond me. But how much funding are we talking about? Well, it's a significant amount, billions of dollars as you mentioned. It depends on the school and the size of the student body. But just to give you a snapshot of this funding, the University of Toronto, one of the biggest universities in this province or country, gets about 38% of the, its operating budget covered by the province. Ryerson University, for example, also gets 50% of its operating budget covered by provincial grants. So it is a large part of university funding that is subsidized. Furthermore, uh, Premier Dalton McGinty did uh, recently offer a 30% rebate in tuition for students whose family income is under $160,000. Now, students have an issue with this because it doesn't apply to graduate students or mature students. They want to see the 30% rebate for every single student, no questions asked. But in a time when uh, the province is dealing with a massive deficit, uh, certainly trying to rein in spending, that may not be a reasonable request. Certainly we're going to be hearing a lot more about all of what students want to see. And uh, we're going to be heading out to that rally, so we'll have more live updates for you throughout the show. Alex? Good stuff. Thanks, Neha. Thank you. Let's move to